Hi and welcome to the channel. This is Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, we're going to look at Lucre. Lucre? 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 I think it's Lucre. I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't really care. But it's a new beta tool that's available from Streamlabs Online. Um, it's a tool where you're able to stream live events a little bit like you would stream stuff on Twitch or YouTube Gaming. Uh, but you're able to actually charge a ticket price up front for that and all the ticketing and the transactions are handled by Streamlabs, uh, which is kind of cool. This feels a little bit like it's potentially Streamlabs' first ever dabble into the proper streaming world. Maybe they will test this for a future streaming platform of their own, which is an interesting move from my point of view. They've certainly got a captive audience and if all the companies that could set up a streaming platform. Streamlabs is definitely up there with the best of them in terms of those that would stand a chance of making that successful in competing with YouTube uh, gaming and with Twitch, the two market leaders at the moment. So Lucra, it's a beta tool currently available on the Streamlabs dashboard. It's something where you're able to set up events, live events and apply a ticket price to them. And then you actually do the stream through a stream key available from Streamlabs onto Streamlabs' web browser through the Lucra platform. So it looks like Lucra in itself is a streaming platform. It's, all, it's already there as a streaming platform, albeit it's in beta at the moment. The only main difference at the moment is they're trying to fill a niche whereby there are paid ticketed streams rather than uh, free live streams. And I, I think the reason for this is probably because running stuff where they're able to monetize directly from the ticket sales First of all, that narrows the field of streamers that are going to try it out, which means that the cost model is a lot lower for them to try this out. But it also means that they're able to immediately monetize through Prime subscriptions because it's a Prime function. You have to upgrade your Streamlabs Online account to do this to Prime. Link in the description below if you want a discount on that, by the way. It also means that, that the resources that they're utilizing for this are a lot lower. Finally, it's also a little bit of a, a niche because first of all, they've already got a lot of users on Streamlabs Online and Streamlabs OBS. Now, if they've got Lucra there as well, it's something that not many other platforms are doing at the moment where you're able to actually have ticketed streams. This is a, a good thing probably for all involved because it means you as the viewer of a platform get to have the option to pay a premium to have more high-end, kind of well-thought-out, well-planned, paid content one-off, unique, exclusive content. The streamer or the uh, kind of event developer for those events can have a stream of income and also reach people which in a day and age of COVID-19 obviously a good opportunity for them and finally of course the streamer do get to monetize in a different way so you can actually plan events now that you don't have to stream for free you can have a ticketed event and they're pre-sale tickets so if you don't sell enough tickets you can simply cancel the event although I wouldn't necessarily advise doing that there are pros and cons to doing that so in this video I'm going to run through the actual setup of Lucra, review it briefly, and just give a little bit of a, an idea of what it's all about, along with obviously giving my thoughts along the way uh, on what this might actually do. I do genuinely think that this could compete with Twitch and with YouTube gaming. They're obviously coming in at the top end, and when you see the platform, it's a lot more kind of, it feels premium when you use it. It definitely feels premium. If you find this video useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. It certainly helps me in the visibility of this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. I help streamers to improve their content, to improve their streams, and to level up what they're doing in an ever increasingly competitive online world. Finally, you're welcome to jump on my stream. I stream daily at six o'clock UK time at twitch.tv or slash machine Dana. Let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, the Lucra platform is based within streamlabs.com. You need to log in using your Twitch credentials here. And when you log in, under the Prime section here, there's now this Lucra, and as you can see, it's in beta. This is just on the left-hand side. They sometimes change up the navigation, so if you don't see it there, just run a search for it. They've obviously applied it as a premium function here, so you can only do this if you've got an upgrade to Prime. Whoa, 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 machine data. Wait, that's wrong. You can't actually get it for free. What are you talking about, you idiot? You can get it for free, then you just have to sacrifice 30%. 30% of your ticket revenue, okay? Otherwise, upgrade to Prime, use a link, keep on saying Prime in slow motion, whatever, I don't really care. I think you get 10 or 20% off using my link in the description below, and that also helps me out as well. So what Lucra does, we'll just click into it here. That's how you find it. You'll be asked the first time you log into Lucra, 
uh, it pops out into a new tab here. So it's not contained within the Streamlabs container. It's almost like they're trying to split this off into a different brand. So the Lucra platform pops out into a new web browser. You'll be asked to log in and you can use your Twitch or your YouTube gaming credentials to log into that. The UI here and the user experience is pretty simple and straightforward. Very similar to Streamlabs already and very similar to Twitch. And the settings and all the rest of it are quite uh, intuitive, I would say. Straight away, we're greeted here with an intro video, create a stream, share your event and go live. They're trying to make this a simple as possible saying it's trusted and tested i would agree there i mean streamlabs although it's got its faults it's not always the most perfect platform out there streamlabs obs and also streamlabs online is very much trusted by literally millions and millions of streamers so we can sell tickets we can stream live event and al analytics we've got here sharing embed live chat and also ticket receipts and emails so they're trying to handle that whole end-to-end -end process not only setting up and an almost like promotion of the event but also delivery of the event, ticket sales, uh, all of it from start to finish, including the communications to the people that buy the tickets as well. I guess they would also handle all the refunds and things like that too. This is a pay-per-view live streaming platform. It's interesting that they're positioning themselves as pay-per-view because they're almost saying by, especially by highlighting that in red, in my opinion, they're kind of almost saying we're not competing with Twitch here. We're not competing with YouTube Gaming here. But the reality is both Twitch and YouTube Gaming could very easily set up a, a pay-per-view platform if they wanted to. And vice versa, if this is successful, Lucra or Streamlabs would easily be able to set up a free streaming platform very much akin to competing with Twitch and YouTube Gaming. I'm just going to go through the very quick process to set up a live event. We create a live event literally by clicking on that button. You can give it a title. Uh, we're gonna run a, I don't know. An inflatable sumo wrestling tournament. You give it a title. This is the title of the live stream. You give it a short description. Uh, you can give it a cover image as well. Let's say we give it whatever image. Then you set the date. So of course we're gonna run this um, tomorrow why not and then a time for it to start now we've only got options here for a maximum of a three hour event which i thought was weird it's, it's almost like they're saying we really want to kind of contain the sort of breadth and, and depth of, of these events we want to cap them at three hours and we also want to cap it to prime upgraded users only there's only going to be a very small portion of people initially that are going to be using this in my opinion but i think they've done that on purpose try and get through some higher volume but not too high volume threshold almost like stress testing the platform a little bit by putting it live in a beta format which is pretty common practice in software development but we can set this to be i think um the, the, we're going to set this to be one hour but now you set the maximum seats now i'm just going to test what's the maximum seats i can do here you can click here for more advanced ticketing options now what we're able to do here is add multiple ticket types i can't believe that you can literally add 10 billion tickets seems broken to me <laughs> then when you click into the ticket you can edit the ticket it's wet as well give it a name for instance base price ticket maximum seats let's be a bit more reasonable here let's say we're going to have 100 baseline tickets seat price is five dollars we save the changes we've then got that we can now add another ticket price here so this is interesting you can add value to some of the viewers by offering a higher value ticket price and that lends itself to giving extra content or extra added value things to those higher price ticket ticket people I like that functionality it really can make quite a big difference not not least to the amount of revenue that a streamer or content creator can create from this but also potentially for charities and things like that which is very important so let's go where uh, I don't know premium ticket for the legends that's the, that'll get them in <laughs> and, the seat, and the seat price here we're gonna put $25 now you can choose whether you want to enable chat on the event itself so this is allow your guests to chat with you and other guests in a public room. Uh, allow ticket purchases while live. So this is allowing people to jump into the event as it's happening. Choose whether or not you want to show the view account uh, and choose whether or not you want to show it as mature content. We've now got all the basic settings. You can really see here, you just already, this screams, we want to keep this as simple as possible. We don't want to overcomplicate this. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. There's no email preferences. There's, there's none of that at this stage. So the event is now created. This is the confirmation. It already looks quite nice with the banner. So now we've got an event URL. If I click that, I'll get a confirmation that the event URL is copied to my clipboard. And we'll just have a quick look at what that looks like. And it's just this. Now what we're left with here is a chat system, which you can pop out. 
and back back in again and you can choose your chat color so that's kind of cool very similar to twitch they've obviously taken a lot of inspiration from twitch here you can full screen it report issues you can also edit if you're the streamer here you can also edit some of the information from this screen play and volume in the bottom left hand corner at this point we've got a streaming key now this is a key that allows you to paste into any of your streaming platforms so for instance if you're using streamlabs online there is an area where you paste the streaming key into the settings and all the streaming platforms have that you have a twitch streaming key if you stream on twitch you've got a youtube streaming key if you stream on youtube and it's a private key that that allows a token to enable you to stream from the software to your profile on in whichever case it's youtube or twitch in this case it's a streaming key that allows you to authorize to stream on lucra so you can copy that um just for reference point i'll show exactly where that streaming key is located in streamlabs obs if you click in settings in the bottom left click on stream and the stream key is just located here you've got the option to click here for help if you need it this links to Zendesk. It also looks like the help center is not, it doesn't exist at the moment, support.luca.live. So you can still see that this is very much in beta. I'm not 100% sure what this streaming server button actually does, to be honest. And without running a full event, you need to sell a minimum of five tickets to run an event. So if you don't sell five tickets, you won't be able to, to do this. It shows the number of tickets remaining, which is quite cool. And of course you can edit that anyway. So you could start low and then increase the number of tickets as needed it depends on how exclusive you want to make your event on how you manage that and that's it we've got a pretty simple straightforward events page which we can now promote now i'm just going to click on my events and see what we've got here these are the these are the events and it gives you some idea here you can create more events you can run multiple event, uh, events at the same time you can add connections as well including in this case a streamlabs connection i'm sure they will add a lot more different connections to this in the fullness of time this is a list of the tickets that you have uh, or have sold and this is just some personal profile settings at this stage we can't change our avatar yeah there's a lot of stuff we can't do yet this is obviously very uh very new now the faq at the moment is very limited does it cost money so it's the end user that gets the processing fee so that's how they're monetizing this under our free tier you earn 70 percent of the proceeds from the ticket sales so you can still do this if you do not have prime but you might need to build that into your ticketing cost model so if i sell a ticket for ten dollars there's a high chance that the end user is going to pay eleven dollars for that or twelve dollars that that one or two dollars extra will go to lucra the platform for their payment processing and of course for platform development hosting and stuff like that i've sold some tickets how do i start my live event you must sell at least five tickets so i think the streaming key you actually select a streaming server i think what that is is two forms of authentication from lucra to say it's not just the stream key to allow link to the lucra platform your lucra pl platform uh, profile but also specifying a server that they've given you a key for and that'll be to manage server loading more than likely as you can see here four questions on the faq is crazy really we'll click on pricing this is basically just a prime membership we've got a hobby one with the 70 percent revenue split here and then we've got a vip section for large scale live streaming events this is a contact us so i'm guessing it's going to be a almost like a price on application approach and again that's the hallmark of a piece of software that is very much in its infancy and that's pretty common in software in the software world so there you have it that's the lucra platform brand new hot off the press on beta mode from streamlabs obs streamlabs online i'd be really interested to see how you guys use this uh if you have any troubles with it any bugs any errors i want to hear about them first let me know in the comments below i really want to see how this runs for you guys once again if you found it useful feel free to hit the thumbs up feel free to subscribe and have a Wonderful day. Take care.